Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and the Lone Ranger, issue number five of five. This is the final one. And guess which dumbass completely forgot to grab the freaking book? This and Turk. I forgot to grab both of those books. Had them in my hands, but just whatever. This has been a really weird, weird week. I uh, went and bought Nightwing twice. Got the physical copy. Forgot I had the physical copy. Bought it on freaking Comixology, like I had to do with these two. It is what it is, man. Today's just a really weird day. Anyway, it's also windy AF outside. So if you hear wind, I'm not actually in Chicago. This is not the windy city. It is just a windy city. All right, let's talk about the freaking comic book itself, man. Uh, everything gets wrapped up in here. We're done. We're done. But it gets wrapped up in such a great way. It really feels like not one of those old black and white TV shows where things just, you know, action, action, action. And then in the very last, like the Scooby-Doo ending, where in the last second it's like, oh, well, it turns out it's actually Old Man Winters who was doing such and such. No, it's not quite like that. Probably half of this, mm, probably a third, one third of this book is wrapping up the book. And it was perfect. <laughs> Every single thing just went so fluidic. You know what I'm saying? And, and... Even though we wrapped up the main bad guy here, there's a much larger bad guy, the cannibal, who's still on the loose. And he is every bit as dangerous as you could possibly imagine would be. Because he's not just scary, like, you know, I will Hannibal Lecter you. No, he's Hannibal Lecter smart, too. He, go he goes and does what <coughs> the Lone Ranger and Tonto can't do. And he straight up uh, captures all the bad guys. He lets them go, but he captures them all. And it's like, oh, damn. <laughs> the end of this was almost perfect. I think it was as perfect as it could be without actually getting into copyright infringement. You know what I'm saying? The only way the end could have been better, besides the no drumsticks thing, is if we went uh, um, a special kind of pie via that movie, The Help. It was in the book, too, I'm sure, but I didn't read the book. I just saw the movie. I'm just saying, like, that's the only way this could have been any better, but it might have gotten into trademark infringement. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. It's a it's a wheelhouse of ideas. This book was great. I love that the end, like, it, it was a solid ending that still left a bad guy out there, wrapped up every single part. The parts that you didn't think would even be explained. Oh, they're not even necessary to explain. No, they're all explained. And all of this, all of this... Uh, not because they lucked out on something, but in a way, they kind of lucked out on six little digits. Six digits. And all of a sudden, boom. I know how to end this. That was freaking awesome. There is nothing in here that didn't fit. There's nothing like, well, technically, if that person did that, no, mm -mm, it was perfect. I loved this. I, Dude, I got to go back and read the, the previous two volumes of uh, The Lone Ranger by Dynamite Comics. That's how good this is. I got to go and find, and hopefully they're on trade paperback. I'm just saying, because this was a solid ending. I love this. Anyway, I'm just going to keep on saying I love this. All right. Wendy outside. Kids are stuck inside. Go play some checkers. I'll talk to you guys later. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.